Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. That's right, we have a second deck on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Two weeks in a row! Woo! Now, I will need to do some honesty here. That this deck is very heavily inspired off of Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh!'s budget Phantom Knights deck. The main reason why I decided to have a little look is because, as you guys all know, I'm a bit outdated when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! But Phantom Knights was one of the most recent decks that I did pick up in the real world. So I thought, what's what's the kind of strats? What are the plays that you can follow with this deck now in the modern day and era, which actually works? And Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! made a really nice budget deck, which doesn't have too many ultra rares. And of the ultra rares, it does have, you just get given like a lot of the main deck ones if you just, you know, do the right things when you pick up the game. But Phantom Knights are really interesting because they've got a lot of graveyard effects and I find them quite enjoyable as well. But this deck kind of comes really nicely together and gets you out Rusty and some other Zexies which have some very good combos and are powerful together. But yeah, let's get on with this video and you've got three interesting games to watch today. Okay, let's see how this goes. We've been blessed with the coin flip. Will we be blessed with a win as well, or is this guy going to just completely screw us over? Show me that extra deck. Let's see. Four! Ooh! I like seeing a small extra deck. It usually means they haven't got much. Now we've got, oh, we've got a promising looking hand. Don't need two junk forwards, but we move because we can special summon. Base up attack, of course. And then we normal summon this buddy. And now this allows for this to be summoned. Go for defense position because in case this is like magic regeki pizza time. There we go. This card's in the top position to target one dark monster on the field. Oh, I should have put that in there. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to special summon our, our very nice break sword using our two phantom knights gents. Now we could obviously do something funny with these, but I don't like that face down. So what we're going to do is get rid of... We'll detach that. Because we can have some fun with it. Destroy this and destroy that. Crush card virus. Ooh. Yeah, wasn't going to want that to start messing with us. There we go. Let's get some easy damage down early on. And there we go. See, look, our little, our little dragon friend's very happy with his little ball. See, what you don't know is that's actually secretly like a Millennium Pokeball. What is this? Danger! One card from your entire hand. Skill the chosen card. Wait. I mean, summon whatever you want. I'm just going to... I'm just going to Regeki as soon as your turn is over. I mean, there's one thing I'm a bit confused about with their effects, which is, doesn't it say your opponent gets to choose the card? I'm not seeing much choice from me here. Now, I'm mainly doing this so I can stop them from OTKing me, rather than, you know actual setup for future plans. Our little dragon's just sitting on his own little podium having fun while we we deal with danger and then a bunch of monsters. Danger's a funny word, isn't it? You know. You hear it and you're like, what's up, danger? 
don't be a stranger. And then you're thinking, why are you making dumb song references? Now, my concern is, are they actually going to be able to OTK me here? I don't think so. Because, you know, yeah, they're only going to be able to damage us with two monsters. So, we're fine. We're in no danger. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> um... Oh, we can take Bigfoot to the face. He's not even real. Our little dragon's getting a bit concerned, but oh well. I'm not concerned. We're going to win this because we've got Regeki. Do they even want a main phase two? Let's find out. Oh, they had their Ash Blossom woman. They didn't... Did they use it? I can't actually remember. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? Four oh, that's big. What is that? I mean, I'm looking through its effect and I'm seeing nothing that says it's immune to Regeki. So, um, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And we get Torn Scales! Oh, It's like the game wants us to win! So, special summon, junk forward. Get our junk nice and forward. Then... Torn scales, slam it down. Wait, we don't... Oh, We need to get something else in hand to use this effect. So we'll use Phantom Knight's Speedy Boots friend. And then we will... We'll add the wings to hand. Mainly because then we can discard the wings and use them as a resurrection. Here we go. See, look at this. We're actually getting off combos now. That goes away. Um... We'll activate that later, probably. And we'll put gloves in the grave. And now we will... Oh, we've got options now. I guess we can use our extra deck. We'll go into Cherubini. Get rid of these two friends. Put Cherubini on the left, because we're left-handed. You know, that's, that's a very good reason. Um... <laughs> So random. Uh, use its effect and get out the extra fella. Want to make sure we get the right one out. Try to get out Seer, aren't we? Won't use the wings just yet. I don't want to use those wings just yet, game. Don't you worry. I'll use them when I'm ready. And now, what we can do is effect activation not the wings <laughs> we'll use the gloves probably because then we can add some more stuff or do we want to use the cape we, we, we got we got options that's the thing we'll use the cloak because now we get to add something to our hand we don't want to use the wings <laughs> um what do we want in our hand speed boots is a nice option as always so we'll go with that We'll get out our beloved Phantom Knight's chassis. <laughs> Let's just use the wings. I'm sick of seeing the pop-up. We're resing something, so... Oh, we get back Breaker. How about that? Jeez, look at all the plays. The numbers. I think we got enough now. I think Breaker alone is enough, actually. Well, we'll get this down and then we'll start hitting. Nope, they've given up. Perfect. <laughs> I do feel a bit bad, because if they stayed in the game for like five more seconds, they would have got at least, you know, a bit for the pass. But, oh well. Oh, a gold box. What's going to be in the gold box? It's completely useless. For goodness sake. Right. As long as they're not playing bloody Golden Lord deck, I will be happy. Because this deck, well, I just don't really understand those Golden Lord ones. They annoy me big time. So, the hand's looking intriguing. Is that a freaking library? 
Wait, each time a spell card is activated, place the spell card. Hand this card. What? What's it? Place damage until the end of the opponent's name. What? I don't. Wait, what? And my hands too. Oh, I forget that they changed the max hand size down significantly. Because oh, I don't want that in hand either. For goodness sake. Um, just get rid of it, I suppose. Is this going to be some, like, fancy Exodia deck or something? One day of peace. I don't want a deck. Add a tune card. What? I don't want any of this. Go away. What was that? Chicken game? Sorry, is this B-Tech Squid game? Play at the lowest life points takes no damage. What's 200 million fees? Player could pay a thousand like it. Is there an entire like game plan here to make me discard my entire deck by any chance? Because I'm just gonna start discarding things that I don't really want anyway, so yeah. I'm sorry, but is this deck's entire plan just to discard literally everything? I, I'm waiting to see something scary. What? It's just, they've just... Chicken game again? Sorry, what is it with this B-Tech squid game? Like, what goes on in chicken game? Are they, like, trying to win 47 million McNuggets or something? Pseudo space? Chicken game 2? It's like a weird sequel. Chicken Game 3, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Sorry, what am I actually up against right now? If it is an Exodia deck, okay. If it is an Exodia deck, here's what I hypothesize. What if you start with four of them in your hand and just get Pseudo Space as your fifth card? Because that can be my only assumption to what this deck is, as an Exodia deck. Because they've got through almost their entire deck. But surely if it is, there's so many ways of bricking that it's not even funny. I, I want to know, because they've literally... <laughs> they have got through over half their deck now. Chicken game four! Is this where it's going to gain like a thousand attack for each counter it's had this turn? It's just going to one shot me. I just want to know what's going on, buddy. This is the ultimate version of Chicken Game. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I've literally, I've had to discard three cards now. Oh my goodness. What's going on? <laughs> they, they can't even attack this turn. My, my little dragon guy is just scared because he just doesn't understand this anymore. They've played four different chicken games, technically. There isn't even a chicken on the card. There's just a guy driving off a cliff with some big demon with a tortoise tank in its mouth just doing something. I don't know anymore. What happened to you? See, back in my day, okay? Back in my day, you'd play three cards on your first turn max, and they'd go, wow, they've, they, they've tanked up their board. This man has played over half his deck. <laughs> he has literally played over half his deck. I don't, it must be Exodia, because he, he's, he's basically got through his entire deck. 
Yeah, that this has to be Exodia. This has to be. If it is, I will gladly put it in the video still, because it's Exodia. But still. Come on, flip the cards around. Have the do -do 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 music play. Don't you have to discard cards if your hand's too full? Because that's something I was noticing with my deck. But I'm not noticing with their deck. Like, you're out of blue eyes, aren't you? What if it is? There you go. Close game. Close game, everyone. Close game. So, as you can see, I tried really hard that game, but sadly, we just didn't get the hand for it. <laughs> what? Do I even get XP? Because I, I did nothing. Yeah, no, I don't. Wow. Wow, what, what a duel. Okay. Right. It's up to them. Am I going first or are you going first? With their little ancient gear wyvern flapping away. I'm going first. Okay, they want to attack on their first turn, basically. Um... It's... Hmm... I think what we do is we summon this. We can activate both, actually, so we will. I see nothing here that says... Like, oh, there's no once per turn on their, their card effect. When you summon a normal level 3 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Doesn't say once per turn, so that's... That's cheeky shadow writing, buddy. What have we got here? Well, we can go into Cherubini, which can do some fun things. Um, go on, then. We'll... What was our face down protecting us again? It's alright. It's a Cherubini. Come out, buddy. Then, of course, we will activate Cherubini's effect. Uh, we get rid of... We want to summon Seer, so we get rid of Graf. Put it there. And so now we can go into... What can we activate from the grave? It'll be the gloves, won't it? Um, special summon, Rusty, the boy, the big man, the big cheese, as they say. Rusty! Obviously activate this. We will summon back Cherubini, because it won't just destroy itself. Uh, we will then use... I believe this can be quite nice. What do we want to have in the graveyard? We want... If we take that in the graveyard... We can then set... A fog blade. So we've already got one fog blade, don't we? Um, we can set another one, I guess. It just means that we got... We shut down their board. Or we can set down... That so we can get some stuff going. And then if I activate the gloves. No, I don't want to use that just yet. I can put this into the graveyard. And then I'll activate this. Special summon it in defense position. Ooh! No, we all just have it in defense position, because I know what I want to do. But not yet. And then I can... We'll leave it at that for now, actually. We'll give them their turn. We'll give them their turn. I've just realized they've got this bloody card back, which means they've got Flower Girl, probably. Probably got three copies ready to just negate, negate, negate. But we've got, we've got an alright first turn field. 
Your opponent declares a monster level from 1 to 12. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a monster that can be normal summon slash set. Then if the monster is the same level as declared by your opponent, send all excavated cards to the graveyard. If not, special summon the excavated monster. Wait, what? Surely, wait, 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 wait. So, excavate cards from the top of your deck until you hit expect a monster that can be normal summon summon. Then if the monster is the same level as declared by your opponent, send all those cards to the graveyard. So I have to basically guess the level. Four. No. Okay, that's good. That is gone. <laughs> Two. No. And it's Plague Spreader as well, which is... You know, I, I, I tried, buddy. I tried. Can't hurt me there for trying. Right. Two again. <laughs> we'll go two this time, because I have a feeling. That can't be special or so normal summon. Oh, it's fucking Eldritch. No, go away. You have ruined my day with that card. No, genuinely, this card just ruins my day. I just don't like it. What's this? Curse of land. You cannot declare attacks. Thing is, they've already summoned one of these, and if this card's fair, you can only use each effect once per turn. Correct. Correct. God, I actually hate Eldritch. It's just, it's just not very fun to play against. It's just the same old, same old. If this card's set from the Spongebob, you can send one Eldritch monster from your hand. Like, your deck to graveyard. But the thing is, then they might have graveyard effects, so... That's my issue. That See, they've just got another one, but the thing is, they can't summon it, because they've already summoned one. They've used it once per turn. They've used this once per turn, haven't they? Or is this the, is this the other effect? Is it the other effect? They're trying to destroy this. I will assume so, and I will play it anyway. <laughs> just to see what happens. <laughs> no harm in playing it, you know. Because if they're going to destroy it no matter where it is, then, you know. If they can't destroy it now, can't destroy it now. And now they just get a... Wait, what? Where's the fairness in this? They've just managed to cheat out... To oh, for goodness sake. Rusty's gone then. <laughs> Rusty's just simply gone like that. Brilliant. actually such a joke card such a joke because no, like everyone just plays it it's not fun to play against it's not interesting there are no like good quirks of the deck it's just boring <laughs> it is just a boring deck to come up against like i usually just instantly can see what's this use the effect if this card would be destroyed by battle of card effect you can send one other card you control to the graveyard instead no! It can go. Things it can't be destroyed by card effects, can it? Sorry, I've got to read its entire effect to make sure that I'm reading it correctly. Cannot be destroyed by card effects, correct. Yes. And now they summon something else out, I'm guessing. The thing that annoyed me about this as well, like when I came to play this, Master Duel, I was like, what decks do I have in real life that I want to upgrade? Okay, this one. I'll do that. This guy's just gone, what's the best deck on the game in the game, easiest to make, easiest to play? And it's like, that isn't fun, you know. That's just boring. <laughs> right. I mean, they've probably got a wall of removal, but we'll see what we can do.
And I just wanted to play the game, buddy. I literally just wanted to play the game. But, you know. Um, guess we can't have all of our wishes. Oh, and they just get a third one out. Yep, nice. Nice, cool. Isn't that great? Um, I will special summon this in face up attack. Can use its effect to buff this. Um, hmm. Well, here's the thing, yeah. What can we activate in the grave? We can activate our boots. Now, what do we want? We want rank up manic magic. Um, now, if we activate this, we can get. Uh, if we add boots to hand, or if we add. What should we add? This can be used once per turn, can't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, technically, Zetsi summoning is. Oh no, it's from the graveyard, isn't it? That's why you can activate. No, you can't, because. Ah. Uh, um. Right. Let's do that. Set another fog blade just in case this pain goes on any longer. Um. Let's actually summon this. That one. To put it here. To be honest, I might just destroy it. Because if we destroy it. It does make sense, children. Don't you worry. Not yet. We can now activate its effect. And we can get... get these two because I think one of these two can now do something I need to see if I can do enough damage here to just end their life and suffering and wait what is this one again um, well they're level 4 now so we go into Dark Rebellion Zexy Dragon We now need to hope that if we go for their face down with this, I do want to. They're considering activating their face down, aren't they, right now? Are they? No, they're not. That only gets once per turn removal, okay. Um. Once per turn, you can detach material from its garden target. One face up once we point controls, change attack to zero. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to that monster's original attack. Perfect. We will banish. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. If it's in that department. Now, the question is. Which one of these fuckers was the one that they, um, it's this one it's tied to. Uh, we'll detach Dark Rebellion itself. And then we'll target this one. Right. Now, I am praying we can end this shit, because I am... We can't attack that one, can we? Ooh. Now here's the thing. If we say, do this here. 5100. Takes them down to enough that this does end it. End it, end it, end it, end it. Yes! Suck my nuts! The dick sucks! Sorry, I just don't like the Golden Lord. And that, oh. Oh my goodness, that is a euphoric feeling right there, beating the Golden Lord. 
Whew, not even my main deck, bro. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> I was. Um, I was sweating. Right. That's going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed me getting a bit annoyed at Golden Lord. If you have, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.